Other terms you may hear in connection with the two-way ANOVA are main effects and interactions. An interaction means the effects of one variable are not consistent across different levels of a second variable. In other words, different combinations of levels have different effects. On the slide, the graphs show an interaction between knee position and duration of stretch. When lines are not parallel, or when they cross, an interaction is present. If there is no interaction between two variables, then investigators will focus on the main effects of each variable separately. In this example, the lines are parallel, which means that the pattern of response at each knee position is consistent across all levels of stretch. The effect of each variable can be examined separately, essentially creating two single-factor experiments. For example, let's return to the study of distance traveled based on category of wheelchair and type of tire. If the paper reports a main effect for tires, then one kind of tire is better regardless of the type of wheelchair. We can combine all the wheelchairs that use solid tires and compare them to all the wheelchairs that used air-filled tires. If there's an interaction between wheelchair and tire, then there is a sweet spot for a really strong effect. In this case, solid tires on a K5 wheelchair lead to especially long distance traveled per day. Here is an example of a results table from an AJOT paper by Taglia, which compared performance between people in three different age groups in the US and Israel on a calendar planning activity. The results table indicates there is a main effect of country on rules followed. I have pulled out the data for the number of rules followed by people in the U.S. and Israel in each age group. The main effect means that regardless of age, participants in the U.S. followed more rules than participants in Israel. 